Okay, this is the template that is available to you for solving a transportation model problem. Now, let's take a look at this example of Foster Manufacturing. Uh, they produce commercial generators and they have three plants currently. One in Cleveland, Ohio, one in Bedford, Indiana, and one in York, Pennsylvania. Uh, these generators that are produced at the plants or at supply points are shipped to distribution centers or demand locations in Boston, Chicago, St. Louis, and Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, the question is how to best allocate production among the distribution centers at a minimum cost. So again, as I mentioned uh, in our previous video, the objective here is to minimize cost. Now, now let's take a look at the uh, tables that are available here for us. The first table in the blue, what you see here is the cost of shipping from uh, each of these supply points to each of these demand locations. Okay, so for example, if this is supply point one, this is supply point two, this is supply point three, and this is demand point one, demand point two, demand point three, and demand point four, this three dollars is C11. Okay, so the cost of shipping from Cleveland to Boston, the cost of shipping from supply point one to demand point one. Same thing, this is going to be C12, this is going to be C13, this is going to be C14, and so on and so forth. Okay, all the way to C34. Okay, so this is all what you see here in blue. All of these are the costs of unit costs of shipping from these supply points to the, the, these demand points. Okay. Now, uh, one more thing that we have here is the demand required at each of these demand points. So, for example, at Boston, the demand is 6,000 and in Chicago is 4,000, in St. Louis is 2,000 units and Lexington is 1,500 units. Okay, that's another piece of information that we have here. And one more thing that we have is the supply available at each of these points. So. In Cleveland, we have 5,000 generators available. Bedford, we have 6,000. And in New York, we have 2,500 available. So this is the data that we have. Now, here we are going to model. So what we have here, basically, as you can see, is a repeat of this table. Okay, Here we had all the CIJs. And here we are going to have all the XIJs. Okay. So if I want to highlight this area for you, you see that in this box here, in this yellow box, we will have all the XIJs. So we have all the XIJs and all the CIJs, okay? And as you remember, the formula for cost, for the total cost, was double sigma XIJ CIJ. So this is how we model it in Excel. The sum product of all of these values, the CIJs, and all these values, the red values, which are XIJs. Okay, so this is how we translate double sigma CIJ XIJ in Excel language. Okay, so basically here in this uh, cell B23, we have the total cost. Okay, and we want to minimize this. Uh, another piece, uh, uh, piece of information that we have here is that we sum all the amount shipped from Cleveland here, all the amount shipped from Bedford here and all the amount shipped from York here okay so we are adding all the XIJs for Cleveland for Bedford and York and writing them down under these cells okay same thing for demand okay we are setting all the demand here everything that has been basically shipped to Boston we put it here everything that has been shipped to Chicago, we put it here, everything that has been shipped to St. Louis, we put it here, and we everything that has been shipped to Lexington, we put it here, okay? So this table is ready, this uh, basically spreadsheet is ready for analysis, okay? Now, how do we go about solving this problem? What we need to use is a built-in feature in Excel called Solver. We go under Data, we click here under Data, and then click on Solver, okay? Once we click on Solver, this window will appear, okay? So now let's review this window uh, step by step. Our objective is to minimize, okay? As you can see here, we have minimize. Our objective is to minimize B23. So B23 
as you can see is this cell the total cost okay so we want to minimize the total cost okay how do we want to do that by changing these variables okay what variables we have these x i j's so by changing x i j's we want to minimize our objective okay which is the total cost basically we are telling excel to go ahead and do trial and error and put different values here different values of x i j in order to find the minimum cost possible while satisfying all the supply and demand constraints okay so now let's take a look at our constraints so our first constraint is that we want all the amounts shipped from these three locations to be less than equal the amount that is available at these three locations okay so we want these three okay amount that is shipped from cleveland bedford and york to be less than the amount that is available we cannot basically ship more than what we have available okay so this is our first constraint and our second constraint is that we want all the demand basically to be fulfilled in other words we want the amount shipped to boston chicago st louis and lexington be exactly equal to what they want okay what is needed in boston what is needed in chicago what is needed in st louis and what is needed in lexington okay so this this number should be exactly equal to this number this number should be exactly equal to this number this number should be exactly equal to this number and this number should be exactly equal to this number okay so these are my two constraints one more thing is that i should use the simplex method this is the method that could be used for solving a linear uh, programming problem and uh, we also know that our xijs are all non-negative they are all more than uh, zero basically so we check this mark uh, check this box here that make unconstrained variables non-negative this basically means that all these xijs are positive okay and then we click on solve we click on solve it takes a few minutes few seconds and then we get the answer we click ok and we see that these are the results this is the optimum result this is the minimum cost that we could have and these are the optimized results for shipping from uh, each of these uh, supply locations to each of these demand locations so for example we know that we should not ship anything from bedford to boston but we should ship 3500 from cleveland to boston 2500 from york to boston and so on and so forth okay and these are the total shipped and as you can see the total uh, received from uh, in boston in chicago st louis and lexington are exactly equal to demand that they had so this constraint has been met and all these values are also less than the amount available which is exactly the case less than equal in this case they are equal and this is the total cost thirty nine thousand five hundred. okay so this was one of one example of uh, supply chain optimization Okay, uh, this was from supplement E. Now, let's take a look at the solved problem in chapter six, at the end of chapter six, and let's see if we can use this template to solve that. Okay, now let's take a look at solve problem 6.4, a transportation model for supply chain optimization. As you can see, this builds upon the foster manufacturing problem that we just solved. Here we have long-term demand forecast for commercial generators produced by foster manufacturing uh, that shows an increase in demand that exceeds the current supply capacity. Okay, so the new demand volumes are at the four distribution centers are here so boston has new demand of 8000 chicago has a new demand of 6500 st louis has a new demand of 3500 and lexington has a new demand of 2000 this totals to 20000 because the current supply at its existing plants in cleveland bedford and york totals 13500 the company will be short 6 6500 units unless a new plant is built there are two locations that are being considered memphis tennessee and charlotte north carolina each would have a capacity of 8000 units to cover the forecasted demand and provide some additional safety capacity 
okay so here we have the unit cost of shipping from each of these locations to the distribution centers if we build the plant in memphis the cost of shipping to boston per unit is going to be 8.5 to chicago it's going to be 4.5 and so on and if we build the plant in charlotte the unit cost of shipping from charlotte to boston is going to be 7.5 to chicago is going to be 6 and so on and so forth now plant construction costs are anticipated to be the same for each location so we can cancel that we can do we can skip uh, considering that the plant cons uh, construction site cost ha is how much so based on this uh, we need to find out which location should be chosen okay so what we need to do here is to solve the problem two times one with memphis added and once with charlotte added okay so let's go ahead and start solving this Okay, so what I'm going to do is to add, first of all, the new, uh, a new row for uh, first Memphis and then Charlotte, okay? So I go ahead and insert a row here and uh, copy the values that I have for York first up here. I only need the values and then change this from York to Memphis, okay? So first alternative is Memphis and the cost of shipping from Memphis to Boston is 8.5. The cost of shipping from Memphis to Chicago is 4.5. And the cost of shipping from Memphis to St. Louis is 4. And finally, Memphis to Lexington is 4. Okay. The amount of supply available at York is 2,500 and the amount of supply at this new plant that we are uh, building, one alternative is Memphis, is 8 tons. Okay. Now, uh, the demands are also changed. So we know that uh, we have an increase in demand. So demand in Boston now is 8,000 and demand in Chicago instead of 4,000 is now 6,500 and demand in st louis instead of 2000 is 3500 okay and finally in lexington demand has gone up to 2000 okay so we changed the data and now let's get rid of all these values okay and here the only thing that i need to add is uh so this this is all go uh, good but i need to add a memphis here as well okay so I'll go ahead and insert another uh, row here and call this York and call this Memphis and then here we need to add another supply constraint for Memphis okay so we add Memphis here and we, let's change the formatting so it is the same and this should be basically uh, should change so this is York so it should be the sum of all the values for york so let me change that so instead of b16 to e16 it should be b15 to e15 and then for memphis i can just copy this formula and or you can just, you can just enter it it's going to be the sum of all the values for memphis okay so i just uh, created one more for memphis and this is the formula it's sum of b16 to e16 here we have sum of b15 to e15 and so on and so forth so let's check to see if the total cost is also correct has the correct formula again i can see that uh, the sum product is now expanded uh, to include memphis as well so i have this double sigma xij cij here okay so this looks good now let's check these formulas as well uh, i have this is the total amount that is being shipped to boston this is the total amount shipped to chicago total amount shipped to st louis and lexington one more time this is all the amount that's shipped from cleveland from bedford from york and from memphis okay okay now let's see how we can solve this again we go under data and click on solver and this time we need to make a few changes so our objective is still the same we want to minimize b25 by changing these cells it has already changed so it includes memphis and also our constraints so our constraints needs a little tweak so first constraint should include memphis as well 
okay so we need to change this from b19 to d19 to b19 to e19 so here we want to include all these and this should be less than equal all these four values this is already updated okay so we okay this away and then the demand constraints let's check that so we see that all these four should be exactly equal to all these four so we are good here okay and then again we want to uh, non-negativity constraint to be checked and we are using simplex method and we click solve and it takes a few seconds and we get our results so here are all the values that optimizes this new scenario if we choose memphis so we see that the minimum cost if we choose from if we choose memphis is going to be sixty five thousand seven hundred fifty dollars now let's review the second alternative which is building the plant in charlotte so we have everything ready here so we just change the memphis here to charlotte and we change the values of the cost for shipping uh, cost of shipping from charlotte to boston is 7.5 dollars from uh, charlotte to chicago is six dollars from charlotte to st louis is five dollars and from charlotte to lexington is 4.5 dollars okay the rest is all the same we have the same capacity 5000 6000 2500 and 8000 and demands are all updated 2000 3500 6500 and 8000 and we get rid of all these values so we get the new uh, values and everything else is good so we click on data and then click on solver and everything is good we don't need to change anything here because we just change the numbers here we just check uh, we want the total cost to be minimized by changing all these values and our two constraints are also good we want these four values to be less than equal these four values and also we want these four values to be exactly equal to these four values okay okay this away non-negativity check is uh, box is checked and we are using simplex method go ahead and solve this it takes a second and it gives us my answer okay so as you can see here the cost is 75,250 if you remember uh, the cost for Memphis was 65,750 so the cost of Memphis is uh, lower $10,000 lower so it is obvious that the minimum cost solution is to build the plant in Memphis.